Four times world champion kickboxer. Yeah. Playboy, pimp. What else you've got? I've many done a few labels. things. Uh, yeah, I, I've lived a very eclectic life, right? Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, I'll, I'm happy with those labels so far. Yeah. Except the the word the one pimp. You people always say pimp as if it's a negative thing, but I think a pimp is a very positive thing. I hope we get to talk about this, and I get to defend the reputation of pimps throughout you know history. I don't think they're bad people, so we'll talk about that. This is Andrew Tate. Then this. This is brother Tristan Tate. Andrew and Tristan were raised by their mother, a British woman, Eileen Tate, in the UK after she divorced their American absentee father, Emery. My father, when he died, someone messaged me who was in, because my father was in the CIA. He held a CIA record for the fastest assimilation of a foreign language. When my dad the Tate brothers describe their father, Emery, as a professional chess player and a hustler. I, I've been with my dad when he would go to the park with no, no, food, no money for food and go to the park and have to hustle the chess park players for $50. And he'd do it. My father worked for the CIA. He was a linguist. A ling? What's that? A linguist. He spoke five languages. The Tates give varying accounts of their father's involvement in intelligence. Sometimes it was CIA, and sometimes he was in the Air Force. Of course, my dad was actually in intelligence. Some right-wing people on the internet think I'm a CIA plant because my father was with intelligence. I'm not a CIA plant. But my father was in intelligence. So when my father joined the Air Force, he got on the bus, like everyone else did back then in Alabama. Got on the bus, da 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 You go, you do an IQ test. My father did so good, they moved him to, to intelligence. I got a message on Facebook from a guy who I had uh, never heard of, just saying, hi, you don't know who I am. I was in the Air Force with your father. I heard of his passing. I just want to let you know that I was in the same place as your father. I was a linguist also for the Air Force. Like much of their fan base, the Tate brothers had a skewed view on fatherhood and masculinity and a largely absentee father. Like I, I remember one time my father was away at a chess tournament for, for a month and a half. He was away for a really long time. He was at a chess tournament playing chess all over the country. Came back after a month and a half. Within 45 minutes, him and my mom are arguing. I think she found something in his pocket, a phone number, so I don't know what it was start arguing. He just walked in the house. I started arguing, da, da, da. and he came down to me and said, son, give me a hug. Gave him a hug. He goes, all right, see you in a few weeks. I was like, where are you going? He goes, when you're older, you'll understand. Your mother won't shut up. Walked out the door. <laughs> I didn't see him again for two weeks. I said, who he was? Like, ah, I come home. Oh, you want to go? You want to That's how he was as a man, right? So in the tradition of his absentee and as Tate described him, often violent father, Andrew and Tristan Tate have continued to spread the Tate family values to the next generation. And if you guess the number correctly, I'll tell you. Two kids? Two. F***ing two. You talk, you think I'm some bitch? Five kids. Five? You think I'm some bitch? Ten. Closer. Twelve. Around, around there. Around there. Okay. You have kids, damn. I didn't know that. Why wouldn't I? Did they all have different baby mothers? I mean, not all different, but there's been a few ovens to bake the bread. He just said he had how many kids in this video? Said you did a reaction video? Closer to 10? Double digits. Right? <laughs> yeah, I wish I'm not sure how true that is, but. Either do I, because he told me point blank how many kids he had, and the number was more than three and less than five. You can do math. So, um, but with a few different moms. An interesting background for a man who mass media would brand as representing conservative and right-wing values. How did Andrew and Tristan Tate, who have recently become absolutely unavoidable in the algorithms of social media that push them incessantly, come to represent to some people so-called conservative values? The Tate brothers first came to prominence when Andrew Tate was on the show Big Brother in the UK in 2016. This was after Tate's stint as a professional kickboxer ended in around 2013. Andrew was removed from the show after controversial pornographic footage of him beating one of his girlfriends with a belt emerged. The woman in the video came out and publicly said that the verbal and physical abuse in the video were role-playing and consensual. She reiterated these claims after Tate's recent arrest in Romania. A few years after his Big Brother appearance, in 2019, Andrew Tate began networking with political commentators, especially on the right wing. 
Andrew and Tristan began a relentless pursuit of going viral and achieving E's celebrity status. And during a period of insane levels of propaganda from the left against masculinity and the labeling of basic male traits as toxic masculinity, Andrew and Tristan Tate found a niche that would eventually allow them a level of E fame very seldom seen in today's quick paced, attention based economy. The Tate brothers used a mashup of MTV Cribs gangster rap style iconography with an international playboy hustler aesthetic with a red pill manosphere talking point facade that blended certain right wing and libertarian undertones where they would sometimes sprinkle in some conservative views concerning the degeneracy of the West and even the destruction of the family. While occasionally paying lip service to conservative values, the Tate brothers spread an ideology and aesthetic and promote a lifestyle that is completely antithetical to traditional values. Unless the traditions we're speaking about are the traditions of common criminals, pimps, and hustlers. Right after the arrest of the Tate brothers for human trafficking in Romania, the narrative that the Tate bros fans are pushing is that the Tates are being persecuted for defending traditional family values and traditional masculinity against feminism and what the Tates call the Matrix. An unforgivably cringe and boomer reference to the 1999 film The Matrix directed by the Wachowskis, who were the Wachowski brothers but are now the Wachowski sisters. The Matrix is the system. Anybody who opposes or even vaguely criticizes the Tade brothers in any way is a part of the system. A bot, an NPC, Agent Smith of the Matrix. And the Matrix wants to persecute the Tate brothers because the Tates will help you to break out of the Matrix. The best way to tell if you're out of the Matrix is that you have a lot of money and consume lots of expensive consumer products like supercars, nice watches, and designer clothing. You know you're in the Matrix if you're a brokey. You're broke! You're f***ing poor! Or work a job and don't agree with everything that Andrew Tate has to say. According to the Tates, there are several different ways to break out of the Matrix. The top G and his brother have systematized this methodology of getting out of the matrix into several conveniently priced courses available at CobraTate.com. For just 4,147 British pounds or about 6,000 US dollars, you can join the Tate's War Room, an elite community of engineers, doctors, high profit business owners private security, drop shipping experts, oil tycoons, webcam studio owners, and more. The top G can help you to exit the matrix through his Bitcoin hedge fund or his 100% legit top secret inner circle Forex trading signals. I don't want to start buying Bitcoin, moving things around, etc., etc. I want to make money. Is there anything we can do? Yes, we can do the Forex. That's the entire point of it. We are making so much money in the Forex program, I'm gonna give you something that I didn't give anyone for the Bitcoin program. But the most lucrative and uber alpha male red pill manosphere way of getting out of the matrix is through starting your own cam girl harem and becoming a top G pornographer like Andrew and Tristan Tate. The women who were on stream were beautiful, but they didn't have a f***ing clue what to say. They were saying all the wrong shit, man. Every day they were saying the wrong shit and we were losing customers. Everything I was telling you earlier about wanting to be innocent. They're saying, oh, I've, I've been here, I've been there. I'm like, shut the f up. You're talking to some dude. He doesn't want to hear where you've been. He knows you can't be a hawk. You can't be a 10 talking about the, how you've been to Dubai with, to, to some f***ing dude in Minnesota who's fat. He ain't going to ever believe that he's going to get you that way. You got you to gotta, you gotta lie to him. You got to lie to him. She's like, lie and say what? Say that you've never been anywhere because you don't trust men. You can't find a man who's serious. Make him think that if he's serious about you, that nothing else matters. Wow, that's you gotta put a famoose on it. So I'm trying to teach these women and the women kept it up. So I said to, said to him, it's like, you know what? It. I'm taking over. So what I did is I unplugged their keyboards and plugged a new one in from me behind the screen. So the chicks would sit there and hit a, a keyboard that wasn't plugged in. And me and my brother and eventually some staff I trained would do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just famoosers, just laughing and doing this. The titties out and they were talking to ice cold hustlers 
We were taking their money, all of it. If they they come and say, well, what kind of, bro, all of it. We were milking them dry. Women haven't got a clue how to famoose a dude. They don't have, because they rely on their looks. They don't have any of the intellect. They have no game, nothing. <laughs> they're some, though, they're they're nothing. They're some. Nah, you get, you get a man, you get a man with game and give him a female's body, a female avatar, we he will the guy up. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. The Matrix was so upset with this based Muslim pornographer, Andrew Tate, and his brother Tristan, breaking people out of the Matrix and teaching men traditional values and how to be a strong and empowered man by creating their own cam girl studios and harems. People sometimes on the way that I live and they'll certainly on the way you live and tell you you're destroying the West. But the truth is this, every single man, every single one, all of you watching, every man who will ever see this, uh, this show, when you were 12 or 13 years old, if you were asked how you wanted to live when you were older, you'd say, I want a big house, a fast car, and a pretty girl. Or a big house, some fast cars, and some pretty girl. That is what you would say. So it was the dream of every young straight man in the universe. And slowly the world beats this dream out of men and they end up fat and out of shape and they settle for the girl who works at their office and then she's pregnant, oh, better be the family man now. And then they come from their moral high ground that they were forced onto by their by, by the world, by them not taking initiative and then they'll on mine and your lifestyle and they'll say, oh, well, this is a evil way to live and blah, blah, blah. So this, sorry, this is the dream that most men, most men had and, and I'm living it and I, I like to inspire and, and, and teach people. The Tate Brothers fans say that they're being persecuted by the Matrix for breaking so many people out of the Matrix by speaking up against feminism and speaking out on behalf of traditional family values. The Tate Brothers themselves mock traditional family values, teach men to build cam girl harems in order to spread pornography, and live off of the fruits of third wave feminism while pushing an ideology and lifestyle that's essentially feminism for men. But apparently if you're a real top G or a war room member, you'll recognize that being red-pilled and breaking out of the matrix is all about embracing hedonism and breaking other people out of the matrix and helping them to embrace hedonism as well. Andrew and Tristan Tate are willing to help those top Gs to help young girls break out of the matrix and into a cam girl studio. One of my main chicks has 200,000 Instagram followers and I took her virginity when she was 17. That's legal by the way here. I don't know if it's 18 in your crazy country. Nobody covers this topic. Nobody. But I'm going to talk to you about how to have sex with virgins. Now, the recipe hasn't changed, but the tactics and the implementation has certainly changed. Be their boyfriend for three months and be in a nice relationship with them. That is the recipe. I'm sorry, guys. You want to run into a virgin the next day? Don't ask me how. I don't know. I don't think anyone knows. I don't even think it's possible. You have to be their boyfriend for an extended period of time. You then have to take a virginity on the second month anniversary or something along those lines. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it. When you run game like me and meet the women who I meet and roll in the circles I meet, you meet beautiful virgins sometimes. Me, I'll do two or three virgins a year. And on top of it, it's actually quite a positive industry. I'm telling you now, and I'll say this here, webcam girls have prevented more male suicide than any, th than, in, than any therapist, any group of therapies, anything you can possibly think of. There are dudes out there who the only pleasure they have in their world is knowing that this beautiful 19 year old in Ukraine knows their name and remembered their birthday. That is their pleasure on the planet. And really, I'm telling you now, it's far closer to therapy than it is to sex, this webcam industry. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. Andrew and Tristan Tate are these persecuted dissidents who were just too based for the matrix, who were poning the libs too hard, who were providing men with positive examples of masculinity in the face of an onslaught of twisted feminism and globalism. Are they actually defending the family unit and traditional family values? Or are they themselves subversive degenerates 
who while saying they fight against feminism, live off of the rotten fruits of feminism, the sexual revolution, and liberalism, predatorially perpetuating a culture that removes women from the family, from the home and the community, turning them into economic machines for the generation of capital as sex objects in a pornographic culture that exalts the most debasing behaviors and the destruction of our souls and our bodies through addiction to vice, such as pornography and gambling, which is what the Tates built their empire on. They brag about teaching men to destroy families by creating cam girl harems in which sex is used as a weapon, in the words of Andrew Tate, to control the minds of these women in the cam girl harem so that they can be exploited to exploit men. If you're not the girl, she is someone else, and that other person she's is gonna have the control over her mind, as opposed to you. The Tates aren't freeing anyone from any matrix. They're helping to enslave people to vice, to become slaves to their passions, to become slaves to materialism, to hedonism, to hypersexualization of everything, and even to gambling. They own multiple online casinos, knowing very well that gambling and pornography addiction are ravaging young men, destroying their minds and destroying their abilities to live productive lives and to have a connection to their family, to their communities. How can anyone see Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate as pillars of traditional family values, defending men from the degeneracy of globalism when they themselves live a life of rootless cosmopolitanism and predatory economic parasitism. If I were aggressively trying to destroy young men, families, and Western culture in general, and I had control of the most powerful social engineering tools in existence in the history of mankind, these social media algorithms, I couldn't think of a more effective weapon than Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. I just get told that I'm destroying the West yeah, yeah. Well, f those people, though. No. You know, I mean, some of the some of the people who talk about destroying the West, so they they'll say, um, oh, girls are sacrificing their soul and their this and their that. 